There are a lot of benefits in replacing your old thermostat with the new digital thermostat. Today, we're gonna to be replacing one with the Honeywell T6 Pro. The Honeywell Lyric T6 is a smart thermostat integrated into a full suite of water sensors, security sensors, cameras, and thermostats. These are all controlled through the Honeywell Home app, which allows you to schedule, adjust temperature, and monitor your home from any room in the house or anywhere in the world. Upgrading to a smart thermostat allows you to configure home and away settings, which can save energy and provide up to 1% savings for each degree you let the temperature drift. They also keep your system from cycling on and off too frequently, which can shorten the life of the compressor and other components. Now before we do anything, we need to turn the power off to the system. If you have two breakers for your unit, turn both of them off. If you have a furnace and AC breaker, turn both of those off too. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is pop the old thermostat off from the back plate. Okay, uh, now we can see our wires that are exposed here. Um, I'm gonna take my phone and do a quick picture of the all the wiring so I have that for reference. Now we can begin unwiring. I'm gonna begin with the red wire. I'm just gonna go from right to left. Just remove these one at a time. Okay, so now with all the wires disconnected, we can begin to remove the screws from the base plate. Okay, now with our screws removed, we can remove the old base plate. And then in this instance, there's a back cover plate. So we're gonna start, um, I'm gonna show you the pieces that are in the packaging. So you have a uh, base plate, and then this is a um, wiring connector terminal. Uh, it will snap together um, like this once we get everything wired in. And then we have this trim ring that it'll snap right over this plate. So now we're going to go ahead and mount the base plate to the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a level on it just to make sure that we get everything level before we get the screws tightened completely. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll finish tightening our base plate. Okay, now that our base plate's tight, we're ready to go ahead and put our wiring terminal into place. So we'll feed the wires uh, directly through the center here. And the wiring terminal has a hook on top and two snaps along the bottom. So we're just going to a little pressure, snap that into place. All right, so our base plate's in place. Now our wiring terminal's in place. We're ready to go ahead and put our connect our wires to the terminals. With Honeywell, they make this easy. These are screwless terminals, so you can just select your wires and push them into the correct slot. We're gonna look back at our picture that we took earlier. So here you can notice the red wire is on the R terminal, the yellow wire is on the Y terminal, the blue wire is on the C terminal, the white wire is on the W terminal, and the green wire is on the G terminal. So with the new thermostat, I want to go back with the exact same terminal configuration. With Honeywell, they also give you two spots to put your connections. I want to use the inner connections. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check our connections here. We're gonna make sure everything is tight. We're gonna look at our wires to make sure there's no bare spots or um, anything that's got copper showing or wiring showing. And we wanna make sure that all these are pushed into our terminals good so we have good connections. All right, so we can go ahead and, and close up our connector door. Now we've got our wiring complete and our base plate mounted, we can use the trim ring and snap it into place. It's got two snaps, one on each side. All right, so now our base plate is completely installed. We're ready to go ahead and get our front plate or the actual thermostat and put it into place. There are pins across the back, they have to line up. So you're gonna square this up and then put a little bit of pressure. 
then you'll hear it snap into place. So at this point we have our thermostat installed and we're ready to turn the power back on. All right, now we're at the setup screen and we have two choices. We can either set up through the thermostat or we can set up through the app. And so for this video, we're gonna show you set up using the app. Now that we have our thermostat installed, we're gonna select start setup on the home screen. And uh, it's also gonna ask about the Lyric app setup and you're gonna select yes to set up with the Lyric app. On the app, we're gonna go to add a new device and we're gonna scroll and find the Honeywell T6 Pro Wi-Fi. And it's gonna ask if you're in, is your thermostat installed on the wall. And we're gonna select yes. Is it displaying a temperature? In our case, no, it is not. Are you a professional contractor? No, we are a homeowner, so we're gonna select no. And then we're gonna continue with full setup. Is your thermostat displaying a network name? So we're gonna select yes. On the thermostat, press and hold the thermostat network name for five seconds. So we're gonna connect the thermostat to Wi-Fi, so we have to go to the iOS settings. So now we're gonna select connect to the Lyric thermostat. Now that we're connected, we'll go back to the Honeywell app. Now we're connected to the thermostat and it's time to configure the new system. We now have a four, four digit pin shown on the thermostat that we'll enter to confirm that we are the owner. Now we're gonna go through some steps to configure the thermostat to the unit. For this installation, we do not have an outdoor air sensor. So in our case, we're using a gas furnace, which is con considered conventional forced air. If you have a heat pump or other, you would configure that here. Now it's asking what type of fuel source we have. In our case, we have a gas high efficiency furnace. So we're gonna select that. It's also gonna ask how many cooling stages do your unit have? Most common is one. That's what we have at this application. Now it's asking how many heating stages do your system have? In this application, we have one. How many cool cycles per hour does your system run? I would leave this at default. How many heat cycles per hour does your system run? I would also leave this at default. There's an indoor sensor connected to the thermostat. You would select indoor. In our case, there is no indoor sensor. We're gonna use the sensor provided in the thermostat. Ventilation type. In our case, there is no ventilation connected to our unit. Now we can confirm all of the configuration settings that we just said. So let's take a moment and look over to make sure everything's correct. Now our thermostat has been configured. It's time to set up the Honeywell Home app to control your thermostat remotely. You're going to select which Wi-Fi network you would like the thermostat to connect to. Now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, we're going to choose the location where you installed this device. For our installation, this is our primary home. Now you can name your thermostat. So now we're connected to the Wi-Fi and registered. Now our thermostat setup is complete and we're ready to use our own comfort settings. Now that you have access to your thermostat through the app, spend some time learning the settings to fit your comfort. Thanks for watching another Learn With Lines. Subscribe to our channel or like us on Facebook so you can get future tips. Until next time.